Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm Josh from Havelock Wool. Thought we'd take a little bit of time today and show you guys how to install bats. Uh, we've got a two by six demo wall in back of us and we're gonna use an R20 product. So first things first, available on the website on the product page are the directions. Make sure you download them, read them, and understand what you're doing first. It's actually quite simple. Uh, so also a few tools we're gonna be using. A long insulation blade, a stapler, if you're doing a lot, maybe a pneumatic or an air-driven stapler would be faster. Standard issue measuring tape. Maybe a decent pair of scissors to cut around shapes if you want. And also available on the website is quick and easy how to make your own insulation cutter. So uh, first things first. Here's our bag of R20. And unlike most insulations, we're going to take a little bit more care. We're not going to rip these out of the top. We're actually just going to cut the bag in half. So without giving yourself stitches, cut this bag right open. All right. So now our bag's open. We can kind of thumb through and find the edge of the bat. Here's this one. Got two. All right, so basically, here's our bat. Here's a stapler, got it in the cavity. I'm tall, so I don't need much of a ladder, thankfully. Got to hit a few staples into the sides. Do a little tuck, a little push, a little pull to make everything look nice for the inspector. All right, now, one thing to note, because we use no glue, thankfully, we needle punch this. And what that means to you is that there's an integrity side and there's like a, a loose wispy side. It doesn't really matter which way this thing installs, but for sake of installation speed, using the integrity side will give you a little bit more bite so the staple can hit it. Uh, kind of an unfair wall, there's no mechanical or plumbing uh, or electrical dodge, so I'll show you how we would cut a bat, how simple it is. Measure your bat of what you need to cut, Nice ergonomic working space, long insulation knife, a little sawing motion across. Will yield a very easy, nice, straight cut bat. We can then use this to put it back in the wall or any modifications you need. So visit us online at halflock.com, shoot us an email, give me a call, let us know how we can help, and we hope you're having a good day. We'll talk to you soon.